Back in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. All right. Today's uh, is going to be kind of a deeper topic for us, um, but we wanted to talk about this because it's such a big part of the roots of hip hop. And since we do so much hip hop on the show, um, we, we felt the need to cover it. Now, who's heard of the five percenters? I have. You have? have. Does anybody know what they are? Um, it's a... I believe it's a, a offspring of um, of Islam, Islam. Islam. Um, I know it started in the streets of New York, and that a lot of people, like you said, um, a lot of people started it off with that that mentality in hip hop. Um, Africa Bambada is one of the ones who really, I believe, he went to Africa, if I'm not mistaken came back and that's one of the hidden secrets of hip hop because hip hop has four elements and has, actually has five elements but the fifth one a lot of people don't know it's about like basically you you like you you're a god basically almost so yeah um yeah i mean that's 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 some of it um a lot of people don't know that a lot of rappers believe in this and here, here's the gist of it um I could get into the details, but I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of people watching this that are gonna Wikipedia me and fix what I'm saying, so I'm not worried about that. So, this is the gist. There's a guy that um, saw that there were a lot of um, young black kids who um, weren't living right, you know what I mean? And he wanted to basically instill in them the belief that as a black, a young black man, you are, you don't have to feel lesser than the white people that are around you. You are better than them is, is kind of the gist of it. Um, and he came up with this whole philosophy as a sect of Nation of Islam, um, which is a sect of Islam, um, that black people are gods, right? Okay, and this is the gist. He believes that 85% of the world is unaware of this that that um black people are guys and they are true should be in power but they're being held down by the other people i don't want to get too specific you may know about this too all right so they believe that five percent of those people and correct me if i'm wrong um they believe that five percent of people have all the power and they know that black people are guys and they're trying to hold them down Okay. She don't want to claim it now. Um, no, that's that's ten percent. Ten percent of people have that knowledge, and they're and they're holding the rest of the population down. And there's five percent of black people who know that they're gods, and it's their job to inform everybody else so that you know, blah blah blah. So the first question, of course, comes in is: these people believe that black people are gods, right? Mm -hmm. So the question to them is: so do you believe that white people are devils? And this is what they say. They say, well, if a white person basically acts right, then they're okay. But their natural nature is to not be okay. I'm cleaning it up a little bit. So if a black person acts not okay, that's the worst type of devil because they're not supposed to be that way. You see what I'm saying? You follow my logic? So the nature of a black person is to be godly, or to be as a god. And the nature of a white person is to not be godly. So if a white person acts right, they're doing okay. But if a black person acts wrong, that's worse because they should be godly. You see what I'm saying? Can yeah. I ask, where do the black people fall, which is most of us, if you were descendants of slavery, fall that have white people in their lineage? Where do they fall? That's a good question. Here's the, here's the thing. There was, um, that's kind of almost how it started. Um, I'm not gonna mention any names because I don't want to give anybody pub, but there was a guy who basically was the leader of the nation and he was not 100% black. And somebody had a problem with that. They felt like the leader should be 100% authentic. So he raised some fuss about it and started his own thing yeah. because he believed that a person over the nation should be authentically black and not mixed with what he feels is not an inferior race of people. Did you know he was 100%? I mean, did he come Yo, straight from the motherland? That's a good question. Um, I'm not sure. But how do you feel about that that thinking, that train of thought? I mean, it's, it's 
no different from anyone else who, you know, comes up with their own cultish thoughts, you know, their own type of, I mean, you, you basically are a, a person and you want to start your own religion, you want to start your own belief, you want people to believe in you. I mean, it happens. I don't agree with it. I don't think that it's... So, so what what if what if you don't know your true nature? What if you're in this 85% oh, and you don't know that you should be better than you're doing right now? You should own the company, not be working in it. So you're saying I should just go up to the school that I work for and like just tell the dean I'm your in 25 guy. years, yeah. time to go? I am your guy, yeah. That's interesting. I mean, if that's the way they think, man, that's just a very far to the left way of thinking i think it's just but here's the thing i think it it came from a motivation of my people are not doing well yeah that's let me true. empower them and make them feel better about themselves because in a way that that's true like if you feel like you are truly better than what other people think you are you'll start acting better so but i think it's the motivation may be right but the information is dangerous we did that already it was called the talented 10 with w.e.b du bois so yeah. it, and it worked we're done we're good we move on <laughs> but the, the <laughs> thoughts still linger whenever you tell somebody something to empower them but it's not true yeah that stuff is going to linger because they see the results of it are good ah. and they'll, 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 they'll think it's true so if my daughter can't sing like she just, she just can't sing, but I'm like, baby, you can sing. Oh, you can they sing. They just can't. They can't hear good. Nobody can hear, but but us. <laughs> Everybody got bad ears, but us. That sounds that's crazy. Like, like like the like the Black Panthers like revitalized. But, but should we do that for our kids? That's like, crazy to me. Should Lies you of them should you them. should you uh, encourage a talent that's not really there? I wouldn't. Baby, you you swing that bat better than Jackie Robinson himself. Really? Really? I, I mean, I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Like, oh, well, I was just going to say, I mean, like you like you were saying earlier, Shantana, the motivation, I think, behind it is good as far as helping to instill positive self-image and self-esteem within the black community, but it shouldn't be at the expense of another group or another race of people. Like, that's just across the board. And honestly, I think Christians do the same thing to a certain extent. So, but you can't, I mean, it kind of goes back to, I think, something we were talking about earlier. Um, I can't remember if it was online or offline, but we just have a tendency to feel like the only way that we can feel good about ourselves is if we put down somebody else, and that's just not going to work. So Candy over here thinking, I'm listening to these sellouts. <laughs> well, you know what I'm thinking about? 85%. You know what I'm thinking about while I'm listening? I'm, I'm thinking about HBCUs. I'm, I'm thinking about HBCUs right now. I'm thinking, hmm, you know, how far... Okay, this seems like a very very hot sect of, of something and HBCUs seem very milder uh, along the lines of you know what we believe and what we're okay. taught but here, here's my question if you were this guy and you saw what you saw you saw kids smoking weed on the corner rolling dice not really doing what you believe they are capable of because they believe they're lesser than the people around them um, so what would you tell them? How would you empower them without, with the truth? Like, what is the truth about their lives? I tried it, it didn't work. It was called youth ministry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's far. messed up, man. <laughs> but honestly, I'm being serious. But I, I think the thing is that, but the funny thing is he said all that, but it was still doing the exact same thing in hip hop, but they believe that doctrine though. You still have people smoking weed, you still have people, you know, um, gang banging and everything, still believing the 5% but mentality why, but why is that okay? like, where where in human society is it okay to think that you're a guy like okay understandably people i just people know who, age, who age think who think that, that new agers that believe gods. that they're gods but, scientology the hidden motive behind scientology is that you're going to become a god we learned that that's in the crazy. bible study yeah that's that's a common belief that um there's something well okay even people who believe in that they'll point to the bible and say in psalms it says you are guys and this is yeah. what you responded to he says but you'll die like, like men. men yeah wow that's um, that's interesting but i also i think i think it's Jesus. just um i think the thing is you got to look at it from a standpoint that this was the only thing this was the only thing in the in the streets of new york at the time that made it look like you know it wasn't quote unquote the white man's religion it may, like she said, empower black people yeah, yeah. to give them some identity. 
So, you know so, I mean? so okay, and he wanted to point out something I said and correct me. I said that God is a person. And you're basically saying, clarify, he's not a person like a, a man person. He's he's a personal being. That's what I meant. Right? But Jesus is a person. Okay? Who is God? So. Oh. Right. Okay. And then that's exactly. And I think that's what's confusing. God is a, is, 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 um, when I mean by person, he is one thing. He's a lot of people try and make God be the air or the atmosphere or he is everyone and that's not God is one thing he has a, a mind he has a thoughts he has a, a personality like he, it, it's one thing you know what I mean and when you start trying to make God everything you're, you're missing the point that's the way you know yeah you're missing the point you are not God 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 said that his spirit lives in in his children but that's not that doesn't mean that you become God yeah that's that's the difference. There's a separation between man and God that's constantly there. You can never be him. Yeah. You would you wouldn't want to be him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the thing about this this, this whole theory and stuff like that is, uh, I remember a rapper, Christian rapper. Um, I won't say his name, but he he said something like, "You say you God, then he'll cancel with your bad self." Like yeah. it was like it was like that, and it was like it was a southern rapper said it, and it, he's well anyway. But just the fact. That's the thing is like if you got um do something. You you saying you got because I think a lot of them know information, they're knowledgeable. Right. They know how how far the sun is to the, the moon, how far this is, or they know how many bones you got in your body. Man, people are dying of cancer. Yeah. Or if you got here's give a, us some answer for Here's the thing. Stuff. Because you didn't make yourself. Yeah. You have no right to say you are God. Until you make yourself, and that's the thing. Someone made you. That's God. Yeah. You don't make nothing. You know what I'm saying? And, and you just have to understand, you are privileged. You are in the image of, but you are not. You are a, a picture. You are a photograph. The photograph can't be the person. It's yeah. just a picture of it. And that is what you are. You are you are representative. You are not him. And and what it is, it's, it's a mixture of theologies. It's Christianity mixed with a little bit of Hinduism, mixed with a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And that's when the danger comes. You have to know what these books say. Because when you start taking a chapter from this and a chapter yep. from that and a chapter from that, that's not the same thing. These are these are opposing viewpoints. They contradict each other. So you can't blend them together and make something new. They don't agree yep. with each other. Um, God said he is God and he is God alone. He's a jealous God and he does not take second place to any other thing that calls itself God. So when you say that you're God, I would not want to be you. Trust that. I would not want to be you because he opposes that. Yeah. So um, for any for anybody who is struggling with this, you may be listening like, man, I, I'm a black person. I've felt put down my whole life. Um, people put me down. People make me feel lesser than. They're wrong, too. I'm not trying to make other people feel right. KKK's wrong. Hitler's wrong. Y'all wrong. Like, everybody who's wrong who thinks that they're better than somebody else based yeah. on something like that. Yeah. You're all wrong. The truth is, God is God. You are not. And and figure do, out who he is. Do y'all think this is, like, hidden racism, though? It is. But it's, it's like an anti-racism. It's my race has been pooped on all this time. We better than that. I'm, I'm coming back with a vengeance. Yeah. But that's dangerous too. You can't do that because neither one of those are true. So what's huh? pooped on? Pooped on. So what's so what's so what's the final? Like every religion, every religion has a final uh, ending. Christianity, um, our final. As a believers, we believe that once you die, you go to heaven to be with Jesus Christ. What's their final deal? What do uh, they say? That's a good question. I never get a straight answer. I've, I've had conversations with people who believe this and i don't know exactly what they believe the ending is um i would have to ask some more questions mm -hmm. it usually ends in like a more like a ethereal universes us type and i don't understand gotcha. so um i would probably have to read more um but the reason we're talking about this is the music you listen to the people you love they may be feeding you not just their opinion but they may be feeding yeah, you the enemy's theology yeah. and you may not understand that like this is not of god this is not a godly principle it sounds good it make make you feel good about yourself but it's still not true yeah. and if it's not true you shouldn't spend any time on it god has got enough to empower black people to be better and do better in society he's enough to do that 
know what I'm saying? You yeah. don't need a false theology to make you feel like you're better than somebody else. That's that's not necessary. Um, Jesus, his life is enough for you to be better, get a better job, live a better life, have more impact in the world. You don't need a racist theology to to overcome what was done to you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Just just stay away from that and be careful of the music you listen Preacher. to, the artists that you love. The stuff is being seeped into the stuff. You know what I mean? Preach. I mean, like, give an example of somebody that you think is like that. Real Buster. quick. Your boy Buster. Your boy KR- Most Def. KRS-One. KRS-One is the, the pastor of this. this um, <laughs> really? This, yes. Oh, yeah. I, could, I mean, it seems like that. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm talking not- about somebody who's current. What about Nas? Isn't he? Nas is. Nas a well. little bit. He is as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, conscious rap is, is, a, is a pretty way to say... Um, I'm a five percenter because, and I'm not saying everybody because I don't think Lupe is a five percenter. I think Lupe, I think he's just Lupe Muslim. is 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 a Muslim. Which this is like five percent is a cult of a cult of a religion. You see what I'm saying? So this is deep, deep, deep. This is like Kabbalah. You know what I mean? Kabbalah yeah. is a cult of a, a religion. So we're not even dealing with a major religion. We haven't even talked about Islam. That's a whole another conversation. This is a sect of a sect of Islam. Yeah. This is way far away from what even they believe. So just just be careful. Just because something promotes you and makes you feel good does not mean it's true.